I've been a fan of the Mission series uh, since I was since I was young. It's something I've always grown up with. Um, strangely enough, I used to DJ and uh, had a strange remix of, of the, the theme tune, actually, and, and that used to be the start of my set, funny enough, um, often. Um, so, yeah, in, in, a, in a strange, convoluted way, sometimes as these things happen. Um, yeah, it's always been part of my life in some way. Zola is the brother of the White Widow, and whereas the White Widow is maybe slightly more manipulative, um, maybe less overt, Zola, in a sense, is her foil. He's the uh, probably more volatile, emotionally led of the two siblings, and um, you know, that doesn't give a hoot who he steps over. It's more what he's willing to do which sort of elevates his sense of status. I think he, uh, his moral compass sits way off um, to maybe what people of normal society would be. So he's, like I said, he's quite willing to do maybe what a lot of people aren't. So I think that's really what set him apart in terms of as a, as a character. The sequences in Paris were definitely something to behold, I have to say. I mean, we literally shut down Paris, you know, small se sections of it at a time, but it was amazing that we were allowed to have such free reign of not only important government buildings, but also huge tourist landmarks and, 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 and attractions. We're literally tearing around Paris at breakneck speed, um, and I had to put an extraordinary amount of trust in in the stunts team, in, 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 it, in everyone involved. These guys are tearing off at a rate of knots and to the point where we're flying around in the back of cars or whatever and, and we're just, OK, we're doing this. We're really having to hold on because we're, we are literally escaping. It was amazing to watch and be part of, obviously. I think audiences can expect an absolutely thrill-packed, um, hopefully hugely entertaining, Whirlwind of a ride that um, I think with with each mission, by their very nature, they try and up the stakes, and, and in this one they certainly have. I'm continually surprised, you know, as to the extent at which they go to. So hopefully, some of that will transpire to the audience. They'll be able to, um, you know, it will, I, I can only think that they'll be sat on the edge of their seats for, for, for what is a, um, an incredibly thrilling ride. Tom is someone who I've grown up with, who, you know, from Days of Thunder to Top Gun to whatever, you know, these are films that were hugely formative in, in my growth as a person, in a sense, and, you know, being a, a male and everything, I think everyone at some point has wanted to be... Maverick, between McHugh and Tom, to watch them two work together, it's like two absolute geniuses at the top of the game who then bring their wealth of knowledge together and then create the spectacle that we are, you know, that, that we're all part of in a sense. Hey, Vale here with some cool movie facts on the efforts some actors go to to create the characters they play. For the role of Roger Kint, Kevin Spacey glued his fingers together in the film The Usual Suspects to give his left hand the feeling of paralysis. To prepare for his role in the film The Mask of Zorro, Antonio Banderas practiced with the Olympic fencing team in Spain for four months. Natalie Portman, for the role as Nina Sayers in Black Swan, trained with former New York City ballet dancer Mary Helen Bowers for up to eight hours a day, six days a week for over a year ahead of shooting the film. Adrian Brody, for his role in The Pianist, gave up his apartment, sold his car and moved to Europe with only two bags, so he could get familiar with his character's discomfort. He also went on a crash diet and lost 30 pounds in six weeks, weighing 130 pounds at his lightest during shooting. Whoa. Okay, so if you want to watch more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you receive the videos the moment they are online. Bye bye.